Some veterans now organizing to help those in Afghanistan in any way they can. Among those, founder and president of New York City Veterans Alliance, Kristen Rouse. She has served in the U.S. Army, the U.S. Army Reserve, and the U.S. Army's National Guard for more than 23 years. She has been in Afghanistan in 2006, 2010, and 2012, and for a combined 31 months serving this nation. Kristen, my hat's off to you. Thank you for your service to this nation. You're continuing to do that right now. You've been assisting countless uh, Americans and Afghan allies. Tell us where the late, where does it stand? What's the latest with what you've been doing? Well, thank you for having me. Uh, I've been, I am just one of thousands of veterans who are working round the clock right now to help our Afghan allies, the interpreters who served with us, uh, people who, the Afghans who worked in other, uh, in other government agencies, the people that we relied on to be able to do our mission. Um, for example, uh, I, I've been working the case of my own personal interpreter. Uh, I served with him for nine months in 2010. He, was, he, was, he wore the same uniform that I did. Uh, we, we worked side by side. He was, he was who enabled me to do my mission of partnering uh, with the Afghan army. And, uh, and, and, and without him, I could not have been, uh, I could not have called my work remotely a success. And, uh, and I've been working with him for more than 10 years to get through a, an extremely complicated visa process for interpreters. Uh, there's a lot of barriers uh, that are built into that process that, that so many are not able to overcome. Uh, and we have been trying um, for, for days now uh, to keep moving him to safe places. Uh, he has been under threat. He has four, uh, mm -hmm. four young children uh, and a wife, uh, and he's been trying to keep them safe. And we have made attempt after attempt after attempt uh, to, get him, uh, to get him into the airport. Um, and, and it has just been uh, really a, an absolute failure uh, where you have veterans and service members outside of Afghanistan who are working desperately through all government channels, through back channels, through people we know, uh, just trying to, to pull some strings, pull some levers, get their information and say, this person is important to me. This, is, this, is, this person is who I depended on. They have to live. They have to live. Kristen, I understand. He kept you alive. Now his life is in your hands and you are doing everything you can. Thank you for doing that. We have run out of time in this hour. You can go to her website there, wartimeallies.com, if you want to help. Kristen, thank you. Please keep us posted. Thank you so much. And thank you for your service.